Hello, YouTube family. It is Monday, I believe. Might be Tuesday. No, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, July the 11th, I believe. Um. Oh, well, I guess you should do this. Hi, YouTube family. Hey. It's Tuesday, July the 10th or 11th. And I had a bad case of food poisoning on Saturday. I haven't really been out in the garden doing like I need to be doing. So, getting ready to harvest me some greens to make uh, greens and ham hocks. So, I uh, figured let me do a quick walk through real quick. And I wanted to show you something. So, here, I had me a zucchini that uh, got critter by, oh, look. That sucker just flew in there. Can you see it? There you go. Oh, well, it's gone. So hopefully that's, uh, <laughs> that squash is, it's got another critter in there too. But this is a squash. See how it's yellowing? The leaves are yellowing around there. We have harvested many squash from this little plant. And this little uh, Dollar Tree, it's a Dollar Tree bucket, just like that one. Just like that one right there. We harvested several zucchini, or several squash out of here. I just put this bucket and that bucket over here because I wanted to see if they did better over by the house. If I can keep them from getting, um getting infested with those little worms in the stems that get in there. Um, but I haven't BT'd these or anything. But we've gotten at least three or four uh, summer squash off there. I don't know if I told y'all. I ended up um, I had these in little containers. These are cherry tomatoes. I had these in little containers like this to give you a comparison for a five gallon bucket and they just were not doing well and now these have been in here for about a week and um as you can see now with all the rain and stuff it's got some powdery mildew or whatever that is on there but i still have multiple teeny tiny marble sized cherry tomatoes so you can see look at the size of my finger when I say marble, I mean marble-sized cherry tomatoes. But I don't know if it's because it came out of a bucket like that or what. So that's those. Um, I started some fresh lettuces over here. Some fresh lettuces are in these containers. Um, this is uh, more cucumber because my cucumber over there is not doing well. So that cucumber is going in the ground. It's not going to be in the bag. Old strawberries. Y'all saw that. The only strawberries that grew when I planted them over there. Uh... I'm do, trying to do a quick walk through before I hit the greens that I just opened. I have some potatoes I planted over here. Is that parsley I put in there? I think that's parsley. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm fine. That one, that one, that one. Everything else in there is crap. Potatoes are coming up in here. I, put, I threw some potatoes down. Nothing else seems to be growing in there. These onions are doing so-so. They're, they're not balling up nicely. I put some seeds in here. I don't remember what. These right here, I don't even remember what they are. But they're in there. They're trying to grow. These are in here trying to grow. The seeds. Don't ask me what they are, because right this second, I cannot remember. Lemon balm. Don't remember. Don't remember. I 
Yes, remember that tent that my husband had left up for so long he swore up and down he was going to take it out the yard. Well, there's the tent. But here's my beautiful unpatched piece of yard. Mm -hmm. This is called Shit Happens. Oh, I don't know if I can post that on YouTube, but we will see. My sweet potatoes are starting to spread out some. These potatoes, those died back to nothing. But now look at these pathetic little things right here. I'm going to crack them open. Not right now, though. I pulled out a... Uh, I pulled out what was here. One of these was be oh, wax beans were here. Now it's okra. I forgot. Dang it! Something got a couple of them okra paints. Uh, all this is okra. That whole row, these two rows, and that. This is where my original okra started. But these cucumbers are not doing wonderfully. Those are doing horribly. Those eggplant, they're there. And so I'm going to put something in there. I haven't put anything in there. I pulled that out of there. Those are peppers. This is what we're going to do this morning, though. And I started, and then I realized I could put this on video. <laughs> um. Oh. This is a... Uh, Watermelon. Oh, looks like you something. I don't know what happened to this. What the heck? It's got water. Well, this this watermelon ain't doing so hot. Oh, he cut the grass yesterday and he cut this. Oh. So as you can see, the grass was cut yesterday and I guess... My husband didn't know. So he got this watermelon yesterday. That sucks. They had a baby little watermelon growing on it. So I'll have to put up some kind of protection. Because he cut down in here. And apparently he just cut that right on off. Another shit happens. Or I'll direct it all into uh, the path like I have those cantaloupe. I don't know. But here's some zucchini and squash and look at that. Look at that. Squash bug. Die. 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 And I pulled a bunch out of here yesterday. We've been steadily harvesting on these. And they do real good. They've been doing really, really good. But they're huge. Taking over. See, I cut that off. And here's some zucchini that's ready. That is not powdery mildew. That leaves grows like that. This particular one in the middle here, that's the pattern of the leaf. But there's some zucchini I need to put, or some summer squash I need to get today. I'll need some more zucchini because... Ah, uh, look at that squash bug right there, right there. Fucker, I see you. Die, bitch. So I will be planting more zucchini. Cause if I'm seeing it, that means there's already one in there. But all those are where you've seen I've, I've been cutting. We've been cutting and eating. Looking okay, there's a couple that have been doing real good. This couple got harvested. It's a couple of little well, that didn't work. A couple of little plants in there that are growing. Mmm. That's gonna suck. I'm gonna have look how this see how this is big and beautiful? Give it a week or two, it will no longer be big and beautiful because them dang squash bugs. But it's high up to my waist, y'all. Zucchini and squash. Watermelon. 
cantaloupe. But I need to get up on this trellis or I'm going to run it, let it run down here. Um, this was horrible. This was horrible. So I did get it trellised up some. Not today. I did this um, Thursday, I think. But I have plenty of beautiful tomatoes that are growing. Some big ones, some little ones, tomatoes, tomatoes everywhere. Some of these, look, that one going, this this one right here is coming all the way from the other side. I got this, this one cleaned up. I need to refill it. This, I need to get cleaned up. These are Romas. If I can get them cleaned up and staked up. They uh, look at that falling all out in the walkway, but they definitely have bromas on them. I gotta get them cleaned up though. But it's so it's so thick in there you can't even I can't even see through it. But this is I've never really grown romas, so I don't quite know how to trim that up and these are this is another cherry that was all around here i mean this entire area it's like eight feet this one bush had spread out to eight feet so i got in i cut it and trying to trellis it up some to just get it out the walkway Ah, uh, peppers. Got a couple, one, at least one pepper plant on there. Most of these are jalapenos, because that's my plant I like. So, I got them staked up. They're growing nicely down in there. Got this that it's a huge I'm guessing I'm gonna be these are chilies I didn't have I guess I put more chilies in there than I thought I thought I had more jalapenos I'm gonna throw some more jalapeno seeds in the ground and these little suckers they suck my cucumbers y'all they don't they're not doing wonderful. I gotta get all this weeded like I got all that weeded. This is what a couple weeks of not feeling good could do. Look at all that grass and everything thing else is growing up in here. But alright, so the main thing I want to do. Man, come here. Well, screw it. Die. Did I get it? I don't know. Ooh, I need some gloves on to get these. The whole thing I wanted to get you to come out here and see is this right here. I started because I want to make some greens and ham hocks. So I'm showing, uh, let me show you this bed now. I haven't got all the sides off because I'm going to do half and then cover it and do the other half. And try and save it from some of these uh from what buggies I can. Now in this bed is also some cabbage, y'all. Not just not just uh there's one one mustard mustard plant way over there. Right there, the dark, dark green one right there. That's a mustard. There's some cabbage in here. Look at these. Look at that. There's another one. I need to go get my gloves on so I can squish these. I just, I know it sounds silly to not want to do it by my own hand. And every now and then when I get PO'd, I do do it with my hand. Okay, where did I put them gloves? Oh. <sighs> yep, 
Yeah, y'all get to see all my mess. I'll hide it. Can't remember if I showed you my leaning sideways uh, sunflower bushes. They did get tall as I am, so about five feet. But half of them are leaning completely over, even though I did stake them up. They're just so top heavy. Sorry, y'all. I gotta put you down for a minute so I can get my gloves on and get these squashed. These squash bugs or whatever they are. They're not beneficial beetles. This netting. No, oh, baby, you ain't going nowhere. Come here. Dang it. Third one did. I will squash the heck out of these bad boys. Try not to. Oh! I see you, Mr. Mr. Spider. Are you on the camera? This is a beneficial bug. He will eat all the crap that's trying to eat my crap. <laughs> However, I can tell you that that plant is not going to be messed with today. Why? Because, oh, here we go. Mustard green. Oh, yeah, time to get in there. It's getting hot. It's flowering. All right, so I want to show you all this real quick. And then I'll come back after I've finished it. And another bug died, bitch. Um... After I get it harvested, it's going to look so different. It's going to look all naked. These garlic, I haven't pulled out. I should probably pull them out. But I'll work on it. I'm going to be out here for at least an hour or so. All right. It was nice to see y'all. Hello, YouTube family. Um, this is Kathy with Gardening with the Rabbit Lady. And if you like what you see, or you can tell me how to fix some stuff, I'll Subscribe if you like it. I keep forgetting to say that. All right. Bye, y'all.